how to unlock each and every single character and each and every single preset of every single character in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 as of the Canton City Vault DLC, also known as DLC 14. Hello everyone and welcome to the video. So if you just heard, this is going to be an updated version of how to unlock every character and every single preset of every single character that were added in the 14th DLC, the Canton City Vault DLC, Awakened Warriors, whatever you decide to call it. Now with that said, because of how many characters there are in Xenoverse 2 and presets, I can't fit all of that in the description of the video, I just can't do it, so therefore the timestamps won't be directly to each and every single preset. But what I will be doing, however, is in the description, there'll be a broad, I guess, like description of the more interesting characters and presets. Then in the pinned comment, I'll have part one, which will be every single character and preset with a clickable timestamp. And I'll also post a separate comment under that comment or under the pinned comment of part two and part three under that if need be. So that said, go to the top three comments or the top two comments that I post, click on, click more or read more, then use the find feature on whatever device you're on, PC will be what, control F or what have you, then typing, for example, Goku, parentheses, preset six, close parentheses, and you'll then get a clickable timestamp to go to that part in the video. And with that said, if you found this video entertaining or enjoyable or useful or anything like that, do please consider giving the video a like and subscribing to the channel if you have not done so. I believe as of this upload, we are about four or five-ish thousand subscribers away, possibly 3,000, I don't know, from hitting 500,000 subscribers. We are so close. So again, if you have not subscribed yet, please do, because it does help the channel out a great deal and just all that good stuff. Leave a like, leave a comment, and yeah, <laughs> just all that good stuff. But please do make sure you check the description or rather the pinned comment first and the replies to the pinned comment. So what, yeah, before you say, oh, you forgot this. No, I didn't forget it. It's all in the video. Trust me. I spent a very long time on this in the original version. So I could just make this version after the next DLC, which would have been the Awakened Warriors DLC. With that said, timestamps and for the convenience of me editing this with the timestamps for about 30 seconds there's going to be just text on the screen saying what i've just said with that yeah see i think you know what i'm getting at so with that said i do hope you enjoy this video the clips and all that and yeah good luck have fun leave a like and subscribe Okay, let's start. So for this, I'm going to be making a brand new character so I can actually, well, unlock the characters and presets. Oh, yes. So once we've done that, thank you, Tolsock, for getting me to level 99. Hey, guys, can I get a like on the video for Tolsock? Thank you ever so much. So once we're level 99 and we've defeated Raditz, we now need to do the tutorial parallel quest. You can technically look at what characters you have after you defeat Raditz, but for this, I just want to go and do the parallel quest that you have to do because we've got to do it anyway. So once we've defeated Raditz and the tutorial parallel quest, these are the characters we now have unlocked. Those being the following. Preset 1 of Goku. Preset 1 of Kid Gohan. Preset 1 of Piccolo. Preset 1 of Krillin. Preset 1 of Tien. Preset 1 of Yamcha. Cyberman. The Vinless Mode Cyberman, which, side note, there's a few Vinless Mode characters here. These can only be used in the Crystal Raid modes. Preset 1 of Raditz. Preset 1 of Nappa. Preset 1 of Vegeta. The Vinless Mode or Preset 2 of Hercule and Jacko. Those are what you get for defeating Raditz and for clearing the tutorial parallel quest. Side note, you may notice here I've got other characters already unlocked, such as... 
Zeno Trunks, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and a few others. Those are from the partner customization keys, which you can get from raids. Again, we will be going over those in this video. Do check the description and or pinned comment and comments and whatever for timestamps to jump to the custom characters, like as you see right here, custom Super Saiyan 4. Goku. <laughs> so as we now continue through the story mode for Dragon Ball Universe 2, at this point we can decide which one of these we want to do first. Either the Earth history, the Saiyan threat, or the Namek history, the Ruckus on planet Namek. For the purposes of this video, I'll be starting off with the Earth history, the Saiyan threat. So that said, once we finish this saga by defeating Great Ape Vegeta, we only unlock three presets of existing characters, those being preset 4 of Goku, preset 5 of Goku, and preset 2 of Piccolo. And once we clear the ruckus on planet Namek by defeating Dodoria with the help of Vegeta, we unlock the following. Preset 5 of Vegeta, preset 1 of Zarbon, and preset 1 of Dodoria. Clearing the Ginyu Force saga in the Xenoverse 2 story mode will actually get you quite a few different presets and five new characters that we didn't previously have. Starting with preset 6 of Goku, preset 7 of Goku, the Ginyu Goku, preset 3 of Kid Gohan, preset 6 of Vegeta, preset 1 of Goldo, preset 1 of Raccoon, Preset 1 of Berta, Preset 1 of Jace, and Preset 1 of Captain Ginyu. Clearing the Freezer Saga by defeating Freezer and Cooler will get you quite a few presets and new characters, those being Preset 9 of Goku, which is the first preset of Goku to have Super Saiyan, Preset 4 of Kid Gohan, Preset 3 of Piccolo, Preset 3 of Krillin, Preset 7 of Vegeta, Nail, Turles, Lord Slug, Preset 1 of Freezer First Form, Preset 1 of Freezer Final Form, Preset 1 of Freezer Full Power, and Fourth Form Cooler. Moving on now, once we defeat Perfect Cell with the help of Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, once again we get quite a few presets and new characters unlocked. Those being preset 11 of Goku, preset 1 of Team Gohan, preset 4 of Piccolo, preset 2 of Tien, preset 3 of Yamcha, Metal Cooler, Android 16, Preset 1 of Android 17, Preset 2 of Android 17, Preset 1 of Android 18, First Form Cell, Full Power Cell, and Preset 1 of Cell Junior. Now, after we defeated Cell in the Cell Saga, it's now time to go for the A Desperate Future Saga, which is fairly short. But clearing this will get you Future Trunks, Preset 1, Future Gohan, Preset 1, and Perfect Cell, Preset 1. Side note, after you've defeated Android 16 and Perfect Cell with the help of Trunks, it doesn't end there. You do have to talk to Elder Kai in the Time Nest, and they just play the cutscene of Future Gohan and Android 17 and 18 or something like that. Then you finish it. So if you've defeated Cell and Android 16, but you don't get these unlocked, just talk to Elder Kai, and then from there, you then go and do the tutorial parallel quests. After clearing the Margin Boo Saga, the A Decisive Battle with Margin Boo, or whatever it's exactly called, you will unlock preset 13 of Goku, which I believe is the first Goku preset that has Super Saiyan 3, preset 15 of Goku, Preset 1 of Adult Gohan, which is Mystic Gohan, Ultimate Gohan, whatever you want to call it. Preset 5 of Piccolo. Preset 9 of Vegeta. Preset 1 of Margin Vegeta, also known as in the game Prince of Destruction Vegeta. Preset 1 of Margin Boo. Preset 1 of Super Boo. Preset 1 of Kid Boo. 
preset one of Janemba, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, the super villain mode of Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, and preset one of Gold Tanks. Do keep in mind if you're following this video, then at this point of the story mode, if you click next, you'll go straight into the next saga. But for this, I went to the time nest. But if you just click next, it will take you to the next saga. Just in case you're, for example, keeping track or following along with this video, you may unlock a few more characters before you check them. If that makes sense, doesn't matter. Moving on. Clearing the God of Destruction's Anger Saga, which is fairly short. I say it's fairly short. It's two missions, I believe, because it goes straight from the Margin Boo Saga. You only get two, well, one preset and one new character. Those being preset 17 of Goku and preset one of God of Destruction. Beerus. Clearing the Emperor's Return Saga, the Resurrection of F-Arc, we're going to call it. Clearing this and then talking to Weez and then defeating Weez in the Time Nest to fully clear this arc, you'll then get the following, and we have quite a few here. Preset 1 of Super Saiyan Blue Goku, preset 3 of Adult Gohan, which is Tracksuit Gohan from Resurrection of F, preset 5 of Krillin, Preset 3 of TN, Preset 1 of Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, also known as SSG SS, because sure, why not? You also get a Pool, Raspberry, Preset 2 of First Form Freezer, Golden Freezer, Super Villain Mold Golden Freezer, Super Villain Mold Metal Cooler, God of Destruction Beerus Preset 2, and Whiz. So we are very close to finishing the story mode and getting every character and preset that we can get from the story mode. Not quite yet, but we're getting very well, we are close. But with that said, the next two sagas, the Masked Saint and then the Warrior from the Demon World, these are two very short sagas. There's only like two missions each. So just for the purpose of making this video a bit more straightforward, I'm going to be combining these two into one sort of recap. So this is what you get from clearing both the Masked Saiyan Saga as well as the Warrior from the Demon World Saga. And you unlock the following. Preset 4 of Future Trunks, which is Zeno Trunks, and Preset 6 of Future Trunks, which is the Captain Ginyu Trunks. But with that said, I don't remember getting this when we first unlocked Trunks or when we cleared the Ginyu Force or Freezer Saga. So I don't know if this is a mistake on my end and we already had this, but I think you get this from clearing the game, which is weird because it's Ginyu, whatever. Don't worry about it. If you're following this video, you've already got this unlocked by this time. Again, don't worry about it. But moving on, we also have Bardock Preset 3, The Masked Sane, Preset 1 of Tower, Preset 1 of Mirror, Preset 2 of Mirror, Super Villain Mirror, and DBS Future Trunks Preset 1. Side note, the well, DBS Future Trunks is also a pre-order early unlock character. So if you may already have this unlocked, but if not, you get him from clearing the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 story mode up until the credits roll. And now we have the unknown history. The secret ending, I guess. There's only two missions here, but to be able to actually get to them and to actually access them, we need to collect the five distorted time eggs. This is how you do them. It doesn't matter what order you do it in. Starting off with the Namekian time rift, you need to clear the Guru missions. It's either seven times or it's 14 times. Once you've done it, you, you'll then be able to talk to Guru again and he'll then give you the distorted time egg. I don't know, again, if it's seven times or 14 times, but if you do it 14 times in total, that will then give you access to get to, I believe, past level 80. So if you want to get Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, just do it 14 times in total. To get the Capsule Corp Time Rift, talk to Bulma in the Capsule Corp Time Rift after you finish training with Vegeta. Keep in mind, this isn't the Super Saiyan training if you're a Saiyan character. So if you're doing this on a Saiyan character, you have to do the Super Saiyan stuff where you get Super Saiyan and 1, 2, and 3 unlocked in the same, like, well, the Super Saiyan of Walken, right? And then to talk to him, to just train with him in general, which you can do on any character. 
you should get the you your number one i think the achievement or trophy pop up to know that you've done it but then you'll be able to talk to bulma and she'll then give you the capsule corp time rift distorted time egg to get the time egg from the margin boo time rift thankfully this is incredibly simple just keep feeding margin boo until he gives you it you can use water, you'll just have to make a few trips to and from the, well, from Margin Boo's house to the, what is that, the item shop in Canton City. But just keep doing that, just keep feeding him water and he'll keep making margins and then eventually, after a few minutes, he'll then give you the next distorted time egg. To get the Hercule House time rift distorted time egg, you'll need to go there and talk to the Great Saiyan Man and you'll then have to clear all six of the missions with the Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2 and Jacko I believe it is and then once you've done all six of them then talk to Hercule and he'll then give you that distorted time egg. If you can't progress through the next missions here you'll have to either leave and do some missions and then come back and or level up. I believe you may have to le you know level up at least five times. If you're level I think it's 60 or 65 don't quote me there you'll be able to do them one after another or after leaving and reloading stuff like that it's fairly straightforward i don't think we really need to go into too much detail just keep doing them and if they don't appear just level up fairly straightforward but then we have the final time egg the freezer ship time rift distorted time egg which is the most complicated and time consuming so to get this first you'll need to clear every mission that is available in freezer's spaceship work your way through it doesn't matter who you talk to because there's like two paths i think but they all lead to the same destination it does not matter what you do but then you'll get to a point where you may not be able to actually go and progress so with that said once you've done that you might have to leave the ship and then do some missions until you get the pop-up saying summons at freezer's spaceship once you do that go there and if you chose the freezer path talk to garden freezer or if you chose the cooler path talk to metal cooler there'll only be one option there do that and then you should be able to talk to naval who is in freezer spaceship and if you've done everything he will then give you that distorted time egg again from the freezer time rift once you've done that again that's the most time consuming but it's just complete everything and then if if you don't get the pop-up the summons at freezer spaceship maybe reload the game or do some parallel quest it, it, i think you need to wait it, there's not like a timer but you have to do some stuff to like make it tick over if that makes sense i hope so if not <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but then once you've done that, again, talk to Naval, who is in Freezer's spaceship, and he'll then finally give you that distorted time egg. Once you have all three of them, again, it does not matter what order you do, the main you can do them in any order you want, but once you've then done that and got all five of them, then go and talk to Supreme Kai Time, who's standing outside of the time vault inside of the time nest and she'll say yeah well done excellent work or whatever it is then talk to trunks again who's in the time nest as usual in his usual place and then you'll be able to progress and do the unknown history Ah, <laughs> and now finally once you can actually go and do the unknown history by getting all five of the distorted time eggs again talk to trunks and there's only two missions here the first mission you play as bardock against mirror where you progress from base form to super saiyan 1 to super saiyan 2 to super saiyan 3 then you defeat mirror and then you play as future gohan versus the future androids android 17 and android 18 then the help of super saiyan trunks then once you've done that that's it that's the normal story mode done with that said once you've done that you do get three presets here those being preset five of future trunks which i believe is also a xeno trunks variant preset four of bardock and preset four of mirror and congratulations that's every character and every preset you can get from the story mode of dragon ball Universe 2 you do need to do the Tolkopedia stuff to unlock custom food, but again, we'll go over that later on in this video. Do check the description and or pinned comment and or my other comments in the comment section for a direct timestamp if you want to know how to unlock foo and custom foo in Xenoverse 2. We don't need to do any of the DLC story or any of the extra story mode stuff you don't get any characters or any presets of characters from clearing lows at least not as of the upload of this video once again congratulations you've unlocked every character and every 
preset of every character that's available to unlock through the story mode of Xenoverse 2, but we are nowhere near close to being done yet. And now we have the characters and preset of characters that you can unlock through completing various parallel quests. Do keep in mind that you don't get a character or a preset from every single parallel quest, but a fair few of them you do. So that said, before I get into it, if you have been following this video so far and you've been like following along and just stuff like that and you've not done any parallel quests so far but you've completed the Xenoverse 2 secret ending, these are the parallel quests you have unlocked right now without doing any other parallel quests apart from the tutorial one. So that said, and you can rewind this because I want to go, go over this part right here very quickly, it's parallel quest 1, 2, 6, 9, 12, 15, 17, 20, 22, 23, 25, 29, 31, 33, 35, 40, 43, 47, 53, 57, 61, 63, 70, 75, 77, 81, 87, 90, and 98. Now you may have noticed there that there's a few missing because it's one all the way to 100 than the DLC parallel quests and as of right now you don't get any characters or any presets of characters from doing the DLC parallel quests so that's great but with that said there's one to 100 but as you may have just saw and as you can see on the screen right now there's a few missing so to unlock the previous parallel quest that's like a gap you'll need to and this is assuming that you've already completed the Xenoverse 2 story mode but you'll have to go through and do the Xenoverse 2 story mode, then complete the immediate well, previous immediate previous parallel quests. For, so, for example, again, as a random example, if you don't have parallel quest number 10 unlocked, you'll have to do parallel quest number 9. I think that's fairly straightforward. I just want to mention that because, well, I'll more than likely be repeating that anyway because of timestamps and stuff like that. And there's a few parallel quests that you actually unlock through talking to various characters in Canton City, such as Android 17, uh, I think Krillin's there or whatever. But again, we'll go over those later on if and when there's anything to be unlocked from those previously mentioned parallel quests. Starting off the parallel quests, we have parallel quest number two, and you get three presets from clearing this, those being the following. Preset two of Goku, Preset 5 of Kid Gohan and Preset 2 of Raditz. Do keep in mind that Preset 5 of Gohan is from the ultimate finish on this parallel quest. It's very easy to get the ultimate finish. You can do it right straight forward. So that said, if you don't get the ultimate finish, you'll need to get the ultimate finish maybe to get pe uh, Preset 5 of Kid Gohan. I'm not entirely sure because again, how easy this mission is. I got it on the first try for this video. So do just keep that in mind. Moving on now to the next parallel quest in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 where you can actually get something new, that being parallel quest number 5. Now to unlock parallel quest number 5, clear parallel quest number 4 and before that number 3 and you'll then get parallel quest number 5 unlocked. With that said, clearing this will get you preset 3 of Goku and preset 3 of Raditz and preset 3 of Goku does appear in the ultimate finish so you might need to get the ultimate finish just in case you do here are the ultimate finish win conditions for parallel quest number five moving on to parallel quest number six now to unlock this you just need to progress through the story mode of Xenoverse 2 you don't need to do the previous parallel quests so do just keep that in mind if you don't have it unlocked for whatever reason just complete or rather progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode. With that said, clearing this mission, you don't need the ultimate finish, but clearing this mission will get you the Kaiwen Man and the Kwaiokona Man, I don't know how to pronounce it, presets of the Cyberman, which I believe it would be preset 2 and preset 3 of the Cyberman character. And after parallel quest number 6, we now have parallel quest number 7. To unlock this, you do need to clear parallel quest number six but clearing this and you do not need the ultimate finish for this but clearing this parallel quest will get you preset three of nappa and preset two of vegeta as playable characters 
in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. <laughs> Moving on, we now have Parallel Quest number 8. To unlock this, as you may have guessed, you just need to clear the previous Parallel Quests, or rather, Parallel Quest number 7. And clearing this will get you Preset 2 of Kid Gohan, Preset 2 of Krillin, and Preset 2 of Yamcha. Clearing Parallel Quest number 9, which you can get just from progressing through the story mode, so you don't have to do the previous Parallel Quests. Clearing Parallel Quest number 9 will just give you Preset 3 of Nappa. And for clearing Parallel Quest number 10, to unlock this, just clear Parallel Quest number 9. But if you clear Parallel Quest number 10, you will get Preset 4 of Vegeta. Moving on now to Parallel Quest number 11 and also shout out to everyone who has watched this video from the very start. How many times have I repeated myself? Do let me know but with that said, <laughs> but with that said, clearing Parallel Quest number 11 which to unlock this just clear Parallel Quest number 10 but if you clear Parallel Quest number 11 you will get preset free of Vegeta unlocked. And now we have Parallel Quest number 14, which is a bit of a different Parallel Quest in terms of how you actually go and get it unlocked. Now to actually unlock Parallel Quest 14, you need to talk to this Cyberman here in the Namekian area in Kanton City. Talk to him and once you've cleared the Parallel Quest once, you can then access it again, like through like the normal means. But if you don't see this Cyberman here, Try progressing through the Xenoverse 2 story mode and complete the previous parallel quests and then he should be there. But he should be there anyway if, you are, if you're just following along with this video. But once you've cleared this parallel quest, you will get the Copyman variant of the Cyberman, the Tenorman version of the Cyberman and the Jinkyo Man, if that's how you pronounce it, version of the Cyberman. The next parallel quest we have is Parallel Quest 15. To unlock this, just progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode and you will, or rather you should, have this unlocked. Again, if it's not unlocked, just progress through the story mode. But clearing this will give you Preset 2 of Berta, Preset 2 of Jace, and Preset 3 of Captain Ginyu, which is the Vegeta variant of Captain Ginyu. The next parallel quest that you can actually unlock something from is parallel quest 14. And to unlock this, once again, like the previous one, just progress through the story mode of Dragon Ball Universe 2. And it will, it, well, it's one of those that unlocks again, just from progressing rather than doing the previous parallel quests. But completing this will just give you one preset of a, of a character we've already got, which is preset four of Captain Ginyu, which is the Zeno Trunks variant of Captain Ginyu. Clearing Parallel Quest 18, and to get Parallel Quest 18, just clear Parallel Quest 17, but once you've cleared Parallel Quest 18, you will get Preset 2 of Goldo unlocked. And clearing Parallel Quest 19, and yes, you guessed it, to unlock Parallel Quest 18, just clear the previous Parallel Quest, Parallel Quest 18, but once you've cleared Parallel Quest 19, you will unlock the second preset of Raccoon and preset 2 of Captain Ginyu. Moving on now to the next Parallel Quest where you can get something new from, that being Parallel Quest number 22. And to unlock this, just progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode. Then once you've got it unlocked and you've cleared it, clearing this will get you preset 2 of Zarbon and preset 2 of Dodoria. Moving on from Parallel Quest 22, the next Parallel Quest where you actually get something new from is Parallel Quest 25, and to unlock this, much like Parallel Quest 22, just progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode. Then once you've got it unlocked and you've cleared it, you will get preset 10 of Goku unlocked and a new character, which is Final Form Cooler. And now we have Parallel Quest number 26. To unlock this Parallel Quest, just clear Parallel Quest number 25. Now, with that said, I think I may have made a bit of a mistake here, and that's this. I think you unlock preset 2 of Final Form Freezer from this parallel quest, but 
I don't know. <laughs> if you don't get him from this parallel quest, it's one of the previous, like, parallel quest 25, 24, 23. It's one of those. I'm fairly certain that you do. I just can't check it and, you know, confirm it again because, well, I've already got him unlocked. So if it's not from this parallel quest, with proof, please do let me know which parallel quest it is. Tweet me or what have you. I don't know. But, yeah, I'm almost certain that you get preset 2 of final form freezer from this parallel quest parallel quest 26 we get nothing from parallel quest 27 but maybe still do it because the next parallel quest we get something from is parallel quest 28 but it's one of those that you have to go into the overworld to unlock so that said talk to a pool in Canton City. Well, first, well, not Parallel Quest 27, talk to Metal Cooler in Canton City, do that mission, and then talk to a pool in Canton City. He is around this area right here, and that will then get you access to this Parallel Quest, and clearing this Parallel Quest will then give you access to preset three of first form Freezer as a playable character. A little bit awkward, but it shouldn't be that awkward in all fairness. And now we have Parallel Quest 29. To unlock this Parallel Quest, just progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode. And once you've cleared this Parallel Quest, you'll then get access to preset 3 of Android 18. Moving on now to Parallel Quest 32. And to unlock Parallel Quest 32, you just need to clear Parallel Quest 31. Side note, Parallel Quest 31 does not give you anything new. But you do have to clear it just to get access to Parallel Quest 32. With that said, clearing this will get you access to preset 2 of Cell Junior. Now for the next Parallel Quest, which is Parallel Quest 34, and to unlock this, just clear Parallel Quest 33. I may have made a slight mistake once again here, but that said, I think you unlock preset 8 of Goku and preset 4 of Krillin from this Parallel Quest, but you do 100% unlock preset 5 of Captain Ginyu. Again, I'm not entirely sure if you do unlock preset 8 of Goku and preset 4 of Krillin from this parallel quest. If you don't, then you unlock them from one of the previous parallel quests, as in parallel quest 33, 32, 31. It's not really that important because you're going to get these anyway, just from more than likely playing the game. But yeah, that's my bad right there. Moving on now to the next parallel quest where you can actually get something new, Parallel Quest 36. So to unlock this, you do need to clear Parallel Quest 35 anyway. But clearing this will get you access to preset 3 of Future Trunks, preset 2 of Team Gohan, and preset 2 of Perfect Cell. Clearing Parallel Quest 38, and to unlock Parallel Quest 38, just clear the previous Parallel Quest, Parallel Quest 37, but clearing Parallel Quest 38 will get you preset 12 of Goku as a playable character. And now we have Parallel Quest 39. To unlock Parallel Quest 39, try clearing Parallel Quest 38 and then talk to Android 17 in Canton City. He's around this area right here. But clearing this Parallel Quest will get you preset 8 of Vegeta and preset 2 of Android 18. Next up, we have Parallel Quest 43. And to unlock this, just progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode until you have this Parallel Quest unlocked. But when you've got it unlocked and you've cleared it, you will get preset 2 of Future Trunks as a playable character. We get nothing new from Parallel Quest 44, but we need to clear that anyway to get access to Parallel Quest 45 and clearing Parallel Quest 45, we get preset 3 of Cell Junior. To unlock Parallel Quest 47, just progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode and then you'll unlock it and then once you have got Parallel Quest 47 unlocked and you've cleared it, you will get preset 2 of Margin Vegeta or as it's called in the game, well, preset 2 of Prince of Destruction Vegeta. Yeah, sure, why not? It's the same thing. <laughs> Next up, we have Parallel Quest 48. To unlock this, just clear the previous Parallel Quest, Parallel Quest 47. Then once you've cleared that and you have this one unlocked and cleared it, 
you unlock quite a few, well, I say a few things, you unlock three presets. You unlock preset one of Kid Trunks, preset two of Kid Trunks, and preset one of Golten. And now we have parallel quest number 50. To unlock this, just clear the previous parallel quest, or parallel quests, so parallel quest 49. And if you clear this parallel quest, you will unlock preset three of Margin Boo, which is the small version of Margin Boo. And if you're following this video from the start or the parallel, or from the parallel quest Java, congratulations, you are now halfway through all the characters and presets that can be unlocked through parallel quests, as this is parallel quest number 50, and there's 100 parallel quests in total congratulations 50 left <laughs> so moving on now with the second half of the parallel quests starting off with parallel quest 51 now to unlock this try clearing parallel quest 50 but i don't think that's absolutely necessary so just progress with the story mode then talk to the great same man in Canton City, he's around this general area. If he's not here, just again, do the previous parallel quests, try leveling up and or try progressing through the story mode. Then once you see him and you can talk to him, clearing this parallel quest will get you, unsurprisingly enough, the great Sandman as a playable character. Moving on to parallel quest 53 now. To unlock this, just progress through the story mode and then clearing this parallel quest will get you the great Sandman 2, Videl, as a playable character. Well, actually, I say Videl. No, that's a different character slot, but this gets you the great Sandman 2, who just happens to be Videl. Spoilers, I guess. After you clear Parallel Quest 53, you'll then get access to Parallel Quest 54, and clearing Parallel Quest 54 will get you preset 14 of Goku and preset 2 of Margin Boo. And much like clearing Parallel Quest 53 unlocks you Parallel Quest 54, if you complete Parallel Quest 54, you'll then get access to the 55th Parallel Quest, Parallel Quest 55, and clearing this parallel quest will get you preset two of gold tanks unlocked and preset two of super boo unlocked as playable characters moving on now to parallel quest 56 and for some reason i feel like a lot of you will be jumping to this part in the video so if you are jumping here hello how you doing <laughs> So to get this, it's slightly tricky, but it's nothing too major. So firstly, just do the general stuff like clear the previous parallel quests, try leveling up and progress through the story mode. This is the first two story mode. But here's where it may become a little bit tricky. You'll need to talk to Kid Trunks in Canton City. The issue being is that he will appear twice. The first time he appears, he may be closer to the time nest where you do the story mode and go into the time vault. So if he is there... Clear that and then reload Canton City and then go to this area right here and he'll appear here to get this parallel quest. And then clearing this parallel quest will get you preset one of Hercule unlocked and preset one of Videl unlocked. Again, he'll only appear you know like at one time so if he appears the time nest first which i won well, by the time uh gate or whatever it's called if he appears there first which i think he will if he does just clear it and then go into a parallel quest or a loading screen well not a loading screen go into like a parallel quest and back out or reload the game or have you then again go to the area that i mentioned a little bit ago and he should be standing there moving on now to parallel quest 57 to unlock this, just progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode and at some point or eventually you will get access to it. But if you do clear this parallel quest, you will get Super Vinless Mode Janemba and Preset 2 of Super Gogeta, Super Saiyan Gogeta rather, same thing, as playable characters. To unlock Parallel Quest 58, just clear the previous Parallel Quest, that being Parallel Quest 57, and then clearing Parallel Quest 58 will get you Preset 2 of Kid Boo unlocked. To unlock Parallel Quest 59, just clear Parallel Quest 58, and then clearing Parallel Quest 59 will get you Preset 1 of of Vegito unlocked as a playable character. And then once you've cleared Parallel Quest 59, you'll get access to Parallel Quest 60 and completing this Parallel Quest will get you preset 16 of Goku, 
preset 10 of Vegeta and Super Venus Mode Kid Buu as playable characters. And moving on now to unlock Parallel Quest 61, just make progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode. And then completing this Parallel Quest will get you preset 2 of Videl unlocked as a playable character. And now we're on Parallel Quest 62. To unlock Parallel Quest 62, just clear the previous Parallel Quest Parallel Quest 61 and then clearing Parallel Quest 62 will unlock for you as a playable character in Xenoverse 2 preset 2 of Full Power Freezer. And moving on to the next Parallel Quest where you can actually get something new from, that being Parallel Quest 65. Clearing Parallel Quest 64 is how you unlock this Parallel Quest, then clearing it will get you access to preset 3 of gold tanks. I also feel like there's gonna be a few people jumping to this part of the video specifically. And if you are, once again, hey, how you doing? Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. But to unlock Super Saiyan God Goku, just clear Parallel Quest 67. And to unlock Parallel Quest 67, just clear the previous Parallel Quest, that being Parallel Quest 66. Moving on now to Parallel Quest 71. To unlock Parallel Quest 71, just clear Parallel Quest 70 and the prior Parallel Quests if need be. But once you have cleared Parallel Quest 70, you will unlock Ramon, Orlen, Monre, and Gupre. I've probably mispronounced those names, but you know what I'm saying. Well, you, you can tell what I'm saying because of what's on the screen. You will unlock those four as playable characters. We don't get anything new from clearing Parallel Quest 72, but we have to clear that anyway to unlock access to Parallel Quest 73. And if you clear Parallel Quest number 73, you will unlock Nibana, Rollberry and Naval as playable characters. So to unlock the next Parallel Quest, that being Parallel Quest 74, you need to talk to Raspberry in Canton City. He's around the Namekian area, as you can see right here. If for whatever reason he's not there or you can't talk to him or get the mission or have you, try you know, clearing the previous Parallel Quests, try leveling up and try progressing through the Dragon Balls in Universe 2 story mode. But once you've got this Parallel Quest unlocked and you've cleared it, you'll get preset six of Captain Ginyu. To unlock Parallel Quest 76, just clear Parallel Quest 75, and clearing Parallel Quest 76 will unlock you preset 18 of Goku and preset 11 of Vegeta, also known as the Sane Beyond God preset of Goku and Vegeta. And to unlock Parallel Quest 77, all you need to do is progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode. And then clearing this Parallel Quest, once again, Parallel Quest 77 will get you preset 5 of Videl and preset 1 of Bardock unlocked. Moving on now to Parallel Quest 81. To unlock this, just progress through the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 story mode until you have it unlocked. But once you've got it unlocked and you've cleared it, this Parallel Quest will give you preset 1 of Super Gogeta. Moving on to Parallel Quest 83. To unlock this, just clear the previous Parallel Quest, that being Parallel Quest 82. But once you've got this Parallel Quest unlocked and you've cleared this Parallel Quest, you will unlock Preset 2 of Adult Gohan, Preset 2 of Kid Trunks, Preset 2 of Golten, and Preset 4 of Videl. The next Parallel Quest you can get something from is Parallel Quest 84. To unlock Parallel Quest 84, just clear the previous Parallel Quest, Parallel Quest 83. But clearing Parallel Quest number 84 will get you preset 2 of Bardock. We get nothing new from Parallel Quest 85, but maybe do it anyway, because for Parallel Quest 86, we need to talk to Golten in Canton City. He should be around the World Tournament area, as you can see right here. If he's not here and or he doesn't give you 
the mission or you can't start the mission or anything like that just make sure you've cleared the previous parallel quests or like the immediate previous parallel quests as in parallel quest 85 84 82 etc 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 progress through the story mode the xenoverse 2 story mode and try leveling up but once you've cleared this parallel quest you will get super villainous mode yamcha unlocked to unlock parallel quest 89 just clear the previous parallel quest that being parallel quest number 88 and then clearing parallel quest 89 will get you preset 3 of adele and preset 2 of vegeto as playable characters and now we have parallel quest number 90 to unlock this parallel quest just progress through the xenoverse 2 story mode until you get it unlocked and then clearing this parallel quest will get you super villainous mode full power cell we are now in the final 10 parallel quests but we don't have to do all of these to get something that we don't already have. So next up, we have Parallel Quest 91. To unlock this Parallel Quest, just clear Parallel Quest 90. And then clearing Parallel Quest 91 will get you preset free of Vegito as a playable character. Oh yes, take it to the Grand Hall, Grand Hall, Dragonable GT. Moving on to Parallel Quest 92 to get this, just clear Parallel Quest 91, and then clearing Parallel Quest 92 will get you GT Trunks and GT Goku as playable characters. I believe it would be preset one, I think, of GT Goku. Clearing Parallel Quest 92 will get you access to Parallel Quest 93, and clearing this parallel quest will get you preset 2 of GT Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and Pan as playable characters. Side note, I think I made a mistake here. If I don't know if you get all of, the, all of those I've just mentioned from this parallel quest, parallel quest 93. If not, then you get at least some of these from the previous parallel quest, but you're going to be doing this anyway, just as you progress and stuff like that. So that's my bad there. But once I have them unlocked, I can't re-unlock them because I can't delete them. Then re-unlock them, I do apologize, but this should be fairly straightforward and honestly common sense in my opinion anyway that you unlock these from like the gt parallel quests moving on clearing parallel quest 94 and to unlock that just clear the previous parallel quest that being parallel quest 93 but once you've unlocked and cleared parallel quest 94 you will unlock super saiyan 4 gogeta as a playable character to unlock parallel quest 95 just clear parallel quest 94 then clearing parallel quest 95 will get you preset 2 of gt goku and super 17 once you've cleared parallel quest 95 you will get parallel quest 96 unlocked and then completing parallel quest 96 will get you super villainous mode omega shenron and preset 2 of pan and now we have the final parallel quest where you can get something new either be a character or a preset from in xenoverse 2 finally we are here on parallel quest 97 to unlock parallel quest 97 complete the previous parallel quest that being parallel quest 96 and then completing parallel quest 97 will get you preset free of mira unlocked as a playable character in Dragon Ball Xenoverse oh, 2. And like I said, well, we're not done yet, but that's ev if you've been following this video along so far, we've now unlocked every single character and every single preset of every single character that can be unlocked from both the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 story mode as well as through the parallel quests. There's a few more, but you don't get anything new from those. I tried, you get nothing at all that we don't already have. You might be able to unlock some stuff that you don't already have. Uh, well, you know, like if you skip past, like I think you maybe get like preset. I think like a gold G to preset. I don't know, but basically. After Parallel Quest 97, you do not get anything new. There's three more Parallel Quests, 98, 99, and 100. You just get skills and stuff like that. There's a lot of DLC story... Uh, not story mode, what there is. There's a lot of DLC Parallel Quests, but you don't unlock any new characters and or any presets of characters from those Parallel Quests. So that's So once again, we are now done with the Parallel Quest section of this 
video. Okay, moving on now to the characters that you can unlock from summoning Shenron and clicking on the I want more usable character wish options. Before we get into that, I do want to go over what the best ways, in my opinion right now, to get Dragon Balls in Xenoverse 2, and that is from farming Parallel Quest 23. Parallel Quest 23 can be unlocked just after you clear Parallel Quest 22 and progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode, but what makes this Parallel Quest specifically the fastest and most efficient and stuff like that for specifically getting Dragon Balls is that, well, Three time patrollers spawn here after you defeat Freezer. It's a very easy parallel quest, it's like, like level 26, 27, 28 ish, give or take, depending on like you know, which time patrollers you get. And three time patrollers spawn after you defeat Freezer. But here's the trick, I guess, is that normally time patrollers on parallel quests will scale depending on what level you are. So if you're level 99, most of them will be around level 99, maybe 87, around that range. But regardless of what your level is, for this parallel quest specifically, they stay the same level, again, in like the mid-20s to like 30-ish. So it's between 25, I think, the lowest I saw, maybe even 24, to about 30, 31, 32, I think. With the correct build, as you can see right here, you can just one-shot all of them with Final Explosion, Super Vegeta 2, or whatever build you're running, turn golden, a limit burst, and you can get, I think you can get, up to three Dragon Balls per run. But do keep in mind, it is random, it is RNG, so you could do this 10 times and not get any, but it's just the fastest one to do. You will get a Dragon Ball from at least most of the attempts that you do. It's not gonna take you that long at all. A different method, it's a bit more long-winded, but this is a different method on how to get a guaranteed Dragon Ball. And it's, well, you need to have at least one character slot free and keep making and then deleting that character. Basically, make a character, defeat Raditz, and then go to this area right here in Canton City and talk to this Canton City resident right here. Like, level 2, I think, or level 1. They don't have a moveset. Defeat them, and you will get a guaranteed Dragon Ball, starting with the four-star Dragon Ball. And if you have all the Dragon Balls and you keep doing this, she'll just give you, I believe, it's a legendary Hercule badge, which, of course, you can sell and stuff like that. That's a bit more long-winded because of loading screens, but you will get a guaranteed Dragon Ball every time you do it. Again, the only downside to that is that it will take a, what, a while just because of the loading and stuff like that. And you do need to have at least one character slot free to do this. So again, you can keep doing it, delete, keep doing it, delete, etc., etc., etc. But for the most part, you're gonna wanna probably just do parallel quest 20. Free. And then once you've got the Dragon Balls and then you summon Shenron, you're going to want to click on the I want more usable characters option. There's again four characters you can unlock here. The first character you unlock is Hit. And I don't know if you also get a Welkin. Well, I got a Welkin hit here, but I don't know if you get a Welkin hit in general or if you need to have DLC 1, the DB Super Pack 1. So if you summon Shenron and you go for the, you know, I want more usable uh, characters and you get hit, but you don't get a Welkin hit, then just know that I believe you will need to get. DLC pack one, the DB Super pack one. Now, the second time you do this, I unlocked Ice Shenron, and the third time I unlocked Nova Shenron, but I don't know if this is the order that you will get them in. So, for example, the second time you do it, you may get Nova Shenron, and then the third time you may get Ice Shenron. I'm not entirely sure. I, I believe like a while ago, there's like something saying that, oh, well, I did it and I got Nova Shenron second instead of third. Again, I don't know, but just know. First wish is for hit and possibly a welcome hit, as you can, well, as you saw. Second wish for me, I got Ice Shenron. And for the third wish, I got Nova Shenron. And then for the fourth and final wish, I got, well, you do get Omega Shenron. Keep in mind, it's not the Venus Mold version, it's just the normal version of Omega Shenron. Not custom, so I'll just preset one, right? Preset one of Omega Shenron, and that's all of the characters we can get as of right now in Xenoverse 2 by summoning 
Shenron. And now we have how to unlock the Supreme Kai of Time as a playable character in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And I imagine this is also going to be a part of a video where people skip towards because they, ma they didn't make it easy. <laughs> so this is without any sort of shadow of a doubt the most awkward character to actually unlock in Xenoverse 2. And this is how you do it. You need to clear the Canton City Tournament event twice. That doesn't sound too tricky, does it? No, it doesn't. And it is, it is fairly easy to do, actually, even twice. But this is where the issue comes. This is one of those online events meaning that it will be available for a couple of days and then it goes away for a set well not even for a set period of time it'll go away and then we don't know when it comes back it's every couple of weeks every month every couple of months again we just don't know and we don't find out until like what 24 to 48 hours before it actually comes back so you're more than welcome in the comments to ask oh is it when is it coming back but no one can give you an answer because well we don't know until pretty much it's available. Now, you can get ready for this, you know, for this right now if it's not available. Firstly, you do need to actually clear the Xenoverse 2 story mode. I don't know if you also need to clear the unknown history, the secret ending, I guess. But I would say that if you want to unlock Supreme Kai of Time and the event isn't available right now, do make sure you've cleared the secret ending. Check the description if you haven't done so already in the, the comments and all that for on how to unlock the distorted time eggs to then actually be able to go and even comp you know, attempt the secret ending for Xenoverse 2, the unknown history with Bardock and future Gohan and stuff like that. Make sure you've done that. And then once the event is available, again, you will be able to do it. You just need to clear it twice. The first time you clear it, you will get this loading screen right here. Side note, I've just realized that this is loading screen number one. Awesome, cool. I, I mean, I like the loading screen. It's of Zeno Trunks and the Supreme Kai Time herself, mimicking the Goku and Frieza sort of pose. And then the second time you clear the event, you'll then actually get her as a playable character. And then after you've cleared it twice, you can then select the individual missions to get a Z rank if you really want to and all that, as well as unlocking the other loading screens, super souls, and other skills that you can actually use on your CAC, CIC, avatar, and stuff like that. Again, I know this isn't necessarily helpful because, well, it's not, well, it's hell to unlock it, but you may not be able to actually get her as of listening to this part of the video right here, right now. But you can get ready for it. I also do believe that you do need an online subscription, so PlayStation Plus or whatever the, the, the uh, Nintendo and or Xbox versions of those are. Otherwise, I don't think you can even, like, gold there i don't know whatever <laughs> you know what i'm trying to say long story short complete the content city tournament event twice it doesn't have to be in a row you can just go come back to it later on once it goes and comes back but you have to clear it twice and you know you have to clear it twice in total first time gets you loading screen one and the second time gets you supreme card time as a playable character herself once again though we don't know when this will be back. It, again, it's at the World Tournament area, so if you just want it, just might keep looking at your um, over world map or what have you for when there's like that rainbow sort of multicolored uh, question mark or exclamation point, whatever it is. Go there once it's available and it'll fade to black and then you'll be able to do the Canton City event. Again, I know it's not the most helpful information, but Bandai make it really hard sometimes. <laughs> so starting off with the DLC characters and presets, let's start off with the pre-order bonus, I guess, DLC zero, if you really want to go that far, maybe, I don't know. But that gets you Goku Black base form, as you can see right here. Once again, this is a pre-order bonus, but you can purchase it. You get base form Goku Black, and as you can see there, the tail, tail pale, or however you pronounce it, vehicle to use in Canton City. Again, that is the pre-order bonus. DLC Zero, sure, why not? <laughs> but now going to the actual DLC, once the game was released, we now have the DB Super Pack 1. The Super Pack 1, I think it's also called, also just known as DLC 1. So getting this will get you preset 1 of Frost, preset 2 of Frost, and Kaba as playable characters. It is this right here, this pack right here, the DB Super Pack 1. 
Oh, and in addition to Frost and Kaba, I believe to get preset two of Super Saiyan Blue Goku, as well as a Walken hit, I believe you do also need to have, it's either DLC 1 that we've just gone over, or you just need to have the latest update of Xenoverse 2, and then unlock either, well, the first preset. So if you have hit and Super Saiyan Blue Goku unlocked, but you don't have a Walken hit and preset 2 of Super Saiyan Blue Goku, which is Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, and technically by extension, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 10 Goku unlocked, then just know that you may need to purchase DB Super Pack 1, DLC number one. Moving on now to DB Super Pack 2. Getting this will get you God of Destruction Champa as a playable character, as well as Vados as a playable character. It's why it look well, it's this one right here. To unlock, strangely enough, it's so random they added him here, but to unlock Bojack, Super Saiyan, Rose, Goku Black, and Zomasu. You just need to purchase the DB Super Pack 3 DLC, also known as DLC number 3. Side note, I'm not entirely sure, but I believe to get preset 2 of DBS Future Trunks, I do believe you need this DLC. It's either this DLC or the next one coming up in a moment and you unlock these two presets 2, 3 and 4. But it doesn't tell you, like it literally doesn't tell you right here or on the next one it just says, oh you get you know, new skills, new costumes, new payload quests, titles, Bojack as a mentor and stuff like that. But basically to get Bojack, Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black and Zomasu, just purchase DLC free, the DB Super Pack free. And to unlock Fused Zomasu and Super Saiyan Blue Vegito and a few more presets, but we'll go over those in a moment, you just need the DB Super Pack 4, also known as DLC number 4. As I've just mentioned for DLC 3, I don't know which DLC you get preset 2, preset 3, and preset 4 of DB Super Trunks from. Um, it might just be that you get these automatically, I don't know, but I also believe you get once it comes, well, once I can find him, preset two of Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta from this DLC, as well as presets three and presets four of Super Saiyan Blue Goku. But again, with that said, it doesn't mention it anywhere here. It just says the new characters are Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and Fuse Zamasu. It literally doesn't mention anything about additional presets. So with that said, if you don't have them unlocked already, then you'll need to get this DLC for those characters that I've just mentioned. And that is everything from the first season, I guess, of DLC for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Moving on now to the extra packs. To get Buhan, well, Margin Buu, Gohan Absorbed, Deborah, Android 13, and Tapion as playable characters in Dragon Ball Universe 2, you need this DLC right here, Extra Pack 1, also known as DLC number 5. To unlock DB Super Android 17, also known as Ranger 17, Jiren, Ultra Instinct Goku Preset 1 and Preset 2, as well as Fu as playable characters, you need this DLC right here, Extra Pack 2, also known as DLC number 6. And moving on now to DLC number 7, also known as officially Extra Pack 3, getting this will get you Super Saiyan Kefla and Super Baby Vegeta 2 as playable characters characters and for the final extra pack dlc we have dlc number eight also known as officially extra pack number four getting this will get you preset one of super saiyan blue gogeta preset two of super saiyan blue gogeta and full power super saiyan broly from the dragon ball super broly movie and once again that's every character or every dlc character from the extra pack DLC season, whatever you want to call it. Moving on now to the next season of DLC for Xenoverse 2, which was Ultra Pack 1, also known as DLC number 9. Beginning this will get you Ribrian, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, and Super Saiyan God Vegeta as playable characters. There's only two Ultra Pack sets instead of there being four, like how there were for the DB Super Pack 
season as well as for the extra pack but getting dlc number 10 also known as ultra pack 2 the official name will get you majub preset 1 as well as android 21 as playable characters and it should look something like this moving on now to legendary pack 1 so side note, we can, well, as YouTubers, we called Legendary Pack 1 DLC 12 instead of DLC 11, even though the last DLC was DLC 10. That had these two characters here. We called it DLC 12 because we, at the time, was like titling the film, well, the videos and thumbnails as like DLC 11 for the free Supreme Kai of Time event. Well, or rather the free Supreme Kai of Time update that came out beforehand. So we called DLC well, Legendary Pack 1, DLC 12, just a side note in case it's confusing, but getting the official name of it, which is Legendary Pack 1, getting that will get you Pycon as a playable character, as well as Preset 1 of Topo, and I believe Preset 2 of Topo. The only reason I'm not sure fully if it gives you Preset 2 of Topo is because what you can see right here, he's got two skills that were from previous per well previous DLCs in Tour Not Them for your characters. You have to do lost parallel quests and stuff like that, again, just for your character. Ultimate Charge was added in Ultra Pack 1, and Peril Rush was added in Extra pack two so if you have legendary pack one purchased but you don't have preset two then just know you may need to get those two other dlcs but i'm not entirely sure but I just thought it may be worth mentioning right there so moving on now we have legendary pack two also known as dlc 13 so getting legendary pack two will give you access to full power jiren as a playable character DB Super Gogeta from the Dragon Ball Super Brody movie as a playable character, Super Saiyan 2 Cardifla as well as Super Saiyan 2 Kale as playable characters. And to unlock Ultra Instinct Saiyan Goku, Bugamo and GT Vegeta, all you need to do is purchase the Canton City Vault DLC pack, also known as the Awakened Warriors DLC pack for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, and you'll have them all unlocked immediately. Okay, we're actually fairly close now to actually having every character and every preset of every character unlocked in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Moving on now to the custom mentors now i believe there'll be about five or six different sections here i'm not going to break every single thing down into like for example how to get custom krillin or how to get custom vegeta how to get custom uh, lord slug because it, for this part right here it's all exactly the same so long story short to get a custom mentor for this section all you need to do is actually get the character to train you now i've already done that so what you need actually real quick let me just read out what you actually can do right now without having to like do anything different if that makes sense not bad what am i doing play data so i believe there's 24 for this little section right here those are and all of these are custom but these are custom krillin tien yamcha piccolo raditz kid gohan nappa vegeta zarbon Dodoria, First Form Freezer, Android 18, Perfect Cell, Lord Slug, Majin Buu, Hercule, Gohan and Videl, Goltenks, Turles, Broly, God Destruction Beerus, Pan, Jacko, and Goku. Now, again, to unlock all of those as a custom mentors so you can change the moveset super soul uh the color of the outfit and stuff like that all you need to do once again is get them unlocked as your mentor so you can actually train under them now you may not be able to actually get some of them especially like goku and stuff like that until you a level up b progress through the universe 2 story mode and c or three whatever i said Complete all six of these advancement tests right here. I forget if you need to Z-rank these to get the what well, to get the next one or the final one, but I'd recommend Z-rank them anyway, because if you Z-rank all six of these here, you will get potential unleashed as an awoken skill. Yes, really, you have to get the Z-rank. So that's just how to get all 24 of those as custom mentors in Dragon Balls in the verse 2, but there are a few more, but it's slightly different for the rest, which we'll go over, well, 
right now, actually. Okay, and now moving on to the three mentors as of right now in Dragon Ball Universe 2 that you can only get as mentors and by extension as custom mentors if you have the corresponding DLC pack. Start Well, the three of them are Hit, as you can see right here, Bojack, and Zamasu. Oh, yes. So to unlock Hit as a custom, well, as a mentor and a custom mentor, you need to buy the DB Super Pack 1, also known as, well, just DLC number one. To unlock Bojack as a mentor, you need to purchase DB Super Pack 3, also known as just DLC 3. And to unlock Zomosu as a mentor, you need DB Super Pack 4, again, also known as DLC number four. Then once you have them, go and talk to them in the city. I think you should be able to talk because I'm DLC mission or DLC stuff. I do think that once you have them purchased, I think you should be able to talk to them immediately. If not, do the what well, I've already mentioned. Try progressing through the advancement tests and gain the Z rank on them just to be safe, just in case. Also, try leveling up if possible and try progressing through the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 story mode if you have not done that already. And then you should be able to talk to them. And then once you've done the first mission, you'll then have access to them to customize the clothing, the skills, the super souls, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so this is also another part of the video where I feel like people are going to skip to. So if you have, hey, how are you doing? I hope this video has been useful to you so far. So for the next well, there's five more mentors that you can get, but it might be a bit tricky to get them only because if, well, if you don't know, you don't know. And those are the five following characters. Wiz, Final Form Cooler, Android 16, Future Gohan, and Bardock. The reason why this might be slightly different to get, we I mean, can see there's Gohan, Wiz is just past Goku, doesn't matter, you know, you know where they are, if you don't, if you can see the, look, what are, what are they, like, on football for me, it's like a greyed out star, that's where a mentor is, for example, here's Zomosu, the reason it's greyed out is because I've done everything, right, but if you, we well, can see there on the, like, heads up display, it says instructor, uh, well, instructor, and it's got, like, an orange and green H, actually, I don't know what it's got H for, like, why, doesn't matter, I'm getting distracted, um, Basically, for these five mentors here, you may not actually see them or you may not be able to talk to them even if you've done everything else in the game. And that's for this reason right here. Just after Xenoverse 2 was released, about a month or two, or actually I think about the same time as DLC 1, they released this. This was and still is completely free to download. I don't know what the text isn't loading up. Pause through the text here if you want. This will give you those five mentors and then you should then be able to talk to them in Content City. If you do need to download this, then well, download it. But I do have a feeling that, well, because of how long Xenoverse 2 has been out for now, just as long as you get the latest update, I think you might get this anyway. But just in case, you, for example, Bardock isn't at this area for you right here. You know, again, Wiz, Final Form Cooler, Bardock, Future Gohan, and Android 16, then well, you know that you need to download this from your consoles store again it's completely free it was free when it first came out i don't even know why they did it it was weird i've not done it again since and it's not as of this upload so just download that and then talk to them in the city and if at that point you still can't talk to them you'll just need to level up progress through the, the universe 2 story mode and just complete it if need be and clear the six advancement tests that are by the Orange Star High School and that should then get you these unlocked and then just do the first training mission and then you'll get access to all five of those mentors as custom mentors. So you can change the color of the armor, the skills, the super soul, you know, just stuff like that. Okay, good stuff. Let's now move on. And the final mentor outside of the partner customization keys that you can get is custom foo. I think I know how to get this one, but I'm not entirely sure. And I've tried looking online and it's either exceptionally long winded, which that defeats the purpose of this video specifically, or it's just wrong, right? So to get custom foo, first you need DL6, DL6, yeah, you need DLC number six, also known as Extra Pack 2. It's the update that adds, well, foo, Ranger 17, or rather DB Super, Android 17, Ultra Instinct Goku, and Jiren. Now, I believe 
because again, I've already done this ride, but I believe if you go to, well, you go to the time nest and you need to go through the Tolkopedia. Now, I believe this is the Tolkopedia here. I believe the way you get through as a custom mentor is you need to clear at least the first mission in the Tolkopedia against Goku and Vegeta, and they turn into Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Then if you either just finish that off or back out, Fu should be standing around this general area here. Talk to him and he should give you some sort of option to, like, well, for him to join you. Then if you do that, that should then unlock him as a custom mentor. Or rather, as you do this, like go out on a time patrol, there should be an option to select your mentor or who goes along with you. And it should say Fu. So yeah, it should be this mission here. Just clear this one. And then again, Fu will, well, Fu should be standing next to that time rift or again, roughly around that general area. He, he's not like hiding like what Valos is if you get DLC 2 or whatever. Um, so yeah, just then talk to him and there should be some sort of option for him to join you on the Tolkopedia time patrol. And then therefore, you should then get him, you know, get him as a custom mentor to then change the you know, the clothing, colors, the uh, skills, super souls, stats, and stuff like that. So for this part of the video, I want to go over the, I guess, like, what would they be? Like, the Crystal Raid Villainous Mode versions of certain characters that can only be used in the Crystal Raid modes, either the 1 versus 5 single Crystal Raid mode or the double 2 versus 4 crystal raid mode and i'll be completely honest i don't actually know how i unlocked any of these but i'm fairly certain you unlock these anyway if you just unlock a version of the character so one of these characters as an example is for example uh well what is it like, a lot of them are dlc characters like one of them is just hercule so actually at the start of the video i actually said i'll oh, preset to or whatever of hercule the, the uh, raid version i think you get these characters just from either getting the dlc that the character is from so for example for deborah it would be DLC 5, also known as officially Extra Pack 1, and for characters such as, again, Hercule or Turles or Lord Slug, or for example, the Masked Sane, even though they all only have one preset, I'm fairly certain you unlock those just by unlocking the normal character, because again, as of this upload, these characters I'm about to mention can only be you know, used in the Crystal Raid modes, and those are the following characters. All of these are villainous mode, unless it's a super villain character. But those are villainous mode, Lord Slug, villainous mode, Turles, super villain, Metal Cooler, super, well, not super villain, Android 13, but just the normal villainous mode, Android 13, super villainous, Perfect Cell, and super villainous mode, Super Saiyan, or legendary Super Saiyan Broly, Bojack, Deborah, Margin Vegeta, Prince of Destruction Vegeta, Buhan, Margin Boo, Gohan Absorbed, Super Villain Kid Boo, Janemba, Golden Freezer, Omega Shenron, The Masked Sane, who could that possibly be? Let me know in the comments. Super Villain Small Jamcha, Mira, Hercule, Cyberman, Full Power Super Saiyan Broly from Dragon Ball Super Broly, Android 16, Super Baby Vegeta 2, Android 21, Jiren, God of Destruction Topo, and Full Power Jiren. Again, these can what well, these are the Venus Mold versions of those characters that again, as of this upload, can only be used in the Xenoverse 2 Crystal Raid molds. And finally, we now have the gifts that you can buy and give to certain characters in Canton City to then unlock certain characters and certain special presets and costumes of those characters. Now, to get the gifts, you have to go to the TP Metal Store. And as of right now, because of course it happens when I'm recording this video, the gift section is grayed out. I literally can't click on it. If I click on it, I just get a little bit of a buzz sound. Again, these are things that like happen in rotations. What are the rotations? No one knows. Um, so if you're asking the comments, you're more than welcome to for the algorithm and all that. Actually, don't. But if you're asking the comments, oh, when will the gifts be back? I don't know what you would expect because, well, none of us know. And we typically don't know until very soon before they actually happen. But that said, as of this upload, uh, recently, the Xenoverse 2 in-game information board, this 
right here has actually been updated so it actually now works you can see there it says the uh, tp mouse store lineup has been updated there's no gifts there so just keep checking that at least right but now with that said if well what gift gives you what thank you for asking that is what we are now about to do yes it is because i do have some of them bought uh, like multiple copies of them just because i can and just in case i wanted to do a video like this and the wait i've got um, i think all of them right here where are we at item list okay so if you buy the goku gift number one buy that then go and talk to goku in Kanton city where, wherever he may be and then he will if you give him this this gift i think it's there's a chance not that it's guaranteed but if you give him this gift he should give you the goku journey to the west outfit talk to gohan in the city when you've got the gift and he'll give you the gohan journey to the gift or rather it unlocks the gohan journey to the west outfit talk to hercule when you've got the gift and he'll give you or you'll get access rather to the super saiyan hercule preset yes really it's just where he finds Beebus or whatever it is. Getting the Wiz, uh, what is it? The Wiz uh, gift will give you the Wiz poop staff because that's funny, the male. Giving the gift to Android 7, 18 even, not 17, to Android 18, there you go, will allow you to use the swimsuit version of Android 18. Give the Nappa gift to, well, Nappa, and you can then use the Toupee preset and keep in mind, well, if you go for Super Saiyan on Nappa, it removes it. That might get fixed in the future. Who knows? Giving the gift to Videl will get you the trendy swimsuit preset of Videl. Giving the gift to... Okay, so this is a bit weird. For the Tower gift, you have to actually talk to Goku. Yes, or oh, it says it right there, right? Pause to read. All that good stuff. You have to talk to Goku in Canton City. He then gives it to... Well, I think he actually uses it in transmission. It's weird. And then he goes and apparently finds Tower, even though she's supposed to be obliterated. I don't know. And then you get the trendy swimsuit Tower preset unlocked. The Goku gift number two... Once you've got that, talk to him in Canton City once again, and you'll get the snow suit that he wears in the Dragon Ball Super Brody movie. Same thing for Vegeta. Talk to him. There's only as of right now one Vegeta gift. Talk to him in Canton City once you've got the Vegeta gift, and you'll then uh, get the uh, Dragon Ball Super snow suit. That's a bit of a tongue twister. That Dragon Ball Super snow suit preset of Vegeta unlocked. Uh, would you? Give it to Android. Actually, there's another Android 18 one. Yeah, there is. Oh, it's the Santa outfit. I completely forgot about that. Um, <laughs> that's weird. Yeah. Uh, giving the gift number two to Android 18 will get you Android 18 in the Santa uh, costume. I forgot that was in the game. Uh, and same thing for Videl, common sense. And then we've got these three right here the Mirror, Feud, Zamasu, and Demigra gifts. Once you've got them, go and talk to Fu in Canton City next to, well, this, you know, at this part right here, this place right here. And again, I'm not going to do it because I've already got it. And once you hand them over, he'll then give you access to any other version they just gave him. So if you, gave, if you give him the Mirror, el not outfit, the Mirror gift, you'll then get access to Final Four Mirror as a playable character only in the crystal raid mode it would be the normal crystal raid mode and all the double crystal raid mode moving on now if you give pan the gift you get the straw hat pan preset or like um outfit whatever if you give gift number three to goku in Canton city you will get well you'll be able to use goku in his end of z the end of dragon ball z gi like that light turquoise one or light blue whatever it is and if you talk to Majub when you have a gift, you'll get preset two of Majub, but it's a, it's like um, a an, an Oob inspired like preset. Like it's just Majub, but it is Oob, you know, inspired. I guess is like the word there. And you know what? I actually think that is. I think that's every single character and every single preset of every single character that you can unlock as of right now, as of Legendary Pack 2, in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. I don't believe I've missed any of the gifts, but if I have, and I haven't made a note of it or anything, again, just go to the TP Metal Store, you can see it right there, in Canton City, and once the 
gift option becomes available. There's no like a couple you can buy at one time if need be. There's like a description as you just saw. So if I have missed one, just read it. It literally tells you what to do. It is incredibly, in my opinion at least, it's incredibly straight forward and that is how to unlock every single character and every preset of every single character in dragon balls universe 2 as of the canton city vault update also known as the awakened warriors update dlc 14 whatever you want to call it i do hope you enjoyed the video oh yes now as i already mentioned a little bit ago in this video i'm recording this video and getting it done just a little bit in advance hence why i use mod footage on the pc for like ultra instinct sign goku and stuff like that so as i'm recording this they haven't revealed if there is going to be more dlc for xenoverse 2 yet there may be, there may not be. Again, as of right now, we just don't know. But if there is going to be more DLC, you would think that it's got to be something to do with Dragon Ball Super Superhero. So with that said, I would maybe guess that the characters that they would add would be characters like Gamma 1, Gamma 2, Orange Piccolo maybe, or Potential Unleashed Piccolo. Beast go on for sure, Cell Max, maybe, who knows. So if they do make more DLC for Xenoverse 2, and it's based off of that. But if they do more DLC, either way, I'll do an even more updated version of this video, and it will all be in that. But again, as of this recording, and presumably as of the upload of this video, that's not been revealed yet. So that said, do stay tuned, all that good stuff. Subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.